What can we do to reverse global warming? Become aware of the solutions and think about the actions you can take as you listen to how we are drawing down in Pennsylvania. Humans create and consume materials for one time or for continuous use. But meeting our needs means generating leftover materials and waste and producing greenhouse gases. The book Drawdown states that society is at the very beginning of redesigning and reimagining the materials used in products and structures as well as the means by which they can be reduced, reused, and recycled. Some of the material solutions directly interact with other drawdown sectors, such as landfill methane in the buildings and cities sector and reducing food waste in the food sector. Here, we will focus on the overall picture of material and waste management in the state of Pennsylvania. Mr. Mark Hammond is an environmental attorney at Land, Air, Water, Legal Solutions, LLC, outside counsel to the Pennsylvania Waste Industries Association. The Pennsylvania Waste Industries Association, or PWIA as we call it, represents the private sector waste haulers, recyclers, and landfill operators in Pennsylvania. So we represent the people who move waste and recyclables, the people who process the recyclables, and landfills where waste is disposed of that can't be recycled. It is the state chapter of the National Waste and Recycling Association, and as such, the principal voice of the waste and recycling industry in Pennsylvania. Each Pennsylvania household here in Pennsylvania generates about 1,360 pounds of waste per year. You can think about just how much waste that is multiplied by every household. So safely and conscientiously managing that amount of waste is a huge but very important job. And what PWIA does is they are focused on promoting the efficient, environmentally safe management of recycling and solid waste. We do some of that directly and we do some of that indirectly. For example, PWIA advocates for sound public policy affecting waste and recycling management. As new technologies emerge, particularly those relating to the production of renewable energy, we help ensure that public policy keeps up with the current state of the art of technology. PWIA also communicates the benefits the waste industry provides to the people of Pennsylvania and is involved in several public education campaigns. Clearly, the Pennsylvania Waste Industries Association has a mission to promote, advocate, and communicate the benefits of the waste industry to Pennsylvania communities. Mr. Hammond continues by explaining how this mission is achieved. We do it in a variety of ways. To start with, as you mentioned, PWIA has a website and we have information and some pretty specific data about these issues on the website. PWIA also commissioned and distributed an economic study that discussed many, many aspects of landfills, including landfill gas energy projects and their benefits. PWIA and some other stakeholders hold a recycling congress every year in the state capitol. At the recycling congress, we share news about how private sector recycling makes major contributions to Pennsylvania's economy. We discuss and display products manufactured here in Pennsylvania from recycled materials. And we also discuss recycling investments and developments in recycling technology. Recycling is one of the best things you can do to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. The very best thing you can do is not create waste in the first place. Recycling is a really important way, particularly for things like aluminum, to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. And in fact, that kind of brings me to our little secret. Our members, people in the waste industry, they hate waste. They would much, much rather see something used than see it disposed. So for them, landfill gas, it used to be this waste that they would burn off for no benefit, direct benefit, no economic benefit. And now it's something that instead of a waste that has to be destroyed, it's something that's adding to our economy as producing electricity. So our industry helped you know, develop a way to use it. 
And recycling is the same way in our eyes. It's taking something that would otherwise be disposed of and having it become a raw material for remanufacture. Working with policymakers is an important component of meeting drawdown in the materials and waste sector. We also work with policymakers to ensure that public policy doesn't lag behind technology. On occasion, on several occasions, frankly, the development or deployment of renewable energy technology was hindered by existing regulations. And it wasn't anything that was done intentionally. It was just because the original regulations predated and really didn't contemplate the deployment of the technology. And over the years, PWI has been very effective in educating policymakers so that obsolete regulations get updated to help incentivize or at least not impede renewable energies. You know, one example of that is we're often asked to testify before various legislative committees and regulatory agencies. The Drawdown website reminds us that thoughtfully managing the inputs and processes of the material economy to be more efficient, more energy conserving, more biologically based, and more circular will have a significant mitigation effect on greenhouse gas emissions. Innovation will be important to reduce the cost of implementation for most material solutions to make them more economically self-evident. We only have to look at the Pennsylvania Waste Industries Association and others to see that innovation happening in the state of Pennsylvania is doing our part to reach drawdown. After all, Pennsylvania citizens generate 8.7 million tons of municipal solid waste each year. And the Pennsylvania's waste industry contributes $4.2 billion per year to the state's economy and supports 26,000 jobs. These are the few reasons why Pennsylvania's waste industry is so important to our state. Thanks for listening. This is Anna from Penn State Brandywine.